Good morning. Welcome back. So this is your reading for Saturday, May 25th. And as always, it's my intention to get a message that, <clears throat> excuse me, can help heal your soul and give you some support for the day as well. Okay, Saturday, May 25th. And as you can see, I'm still using Jamie Sawyer's Rider Waite Smith Redo. Such a gorgeous deck. I really appreciate her artwork. Okay, so we have the Three of Wands. The Six of Wands reversed. Oops, and the Tower. Okay. Now, in dailies, I don't tend to read the Tower as uh, anything majorly strong. Uh, but if you're, if you're doing your own readings and you keep getting the Tower, then you might want to look around the house and see if there's something that's about to break down because that it can definitely be a card of you know chaos but what i think this is more about is uh because i've you know set the intention to use the center card as the theme and i uh, with the six of wands reversed when it comes to reverse this is my card for not being seen and heard and understood not being recognized for who you truly are and this, there's a very simple message here in case you're in a hurry for the day. What I'm getting is, is that if you're always looking outside of yourself to get recognition, your world is always going to just be blowing up with all kinds of little angry emotional reactions. It, it's never going to work out good for you because you have to know and understand and recognize who you truly are on the inner levels first. Because hardly any, I, I mean, I don't know anybody that had the perfect parents. And if they say they did, they're probably in denial because there's no perfect human on planet Earth. That just doesn't happen. I mean, my goodness. So every child comes in with a little bit of you know, like a, a piece of our soul substance that needs to heal. There's there's kind of like a, a dent or a, a cramp or, you know, a conglomeration of some substance that needs to be cleared through. And those, those soul cramps or soul dents happen because of, um, you know, the unmet real needs in past lives that we brought through again to heal, right? Because we you know, we have these real needs to be loved, to um, just imagine an infant. If they're not held, if they're not loved, if they don't feel safe, if they're not, you know, made comfortable, they, they're, they're in a lot of pain. And so part of those real needs, besides love and safety and comfort, are connection and to be seen and heard and understood. So as adults, if we don't meet the pain when it comes up and process it through, then we, st we stay stuck. And then we reach outside of ourselves for these substitute needs, which can sometimes be to make a whole lot of money, put a lot out in the world, and which is not bad. I mean, that's, I'm not, there's no judgment there at all. But there's, if it's constant and there's no regrouping and no coming inside of, because here, here's what the Six of Wands could be is when you don't, you don't need to have anybody else see you. You see yourself. You acknowledge yourself. You pat yourself on the back. And then, you know, you could avert disasters. But if we're always looking outside of ourselves for, you know, for all of the, the, the kudos of life or to feel good about ourselves then that's coming, just know that it's coming from our childhood wounding. And it, it creates addictions, too, because it, it's what makes us workaholics. It's what makes us, you know, foodaholics, alcoholics, uh, and any other drugs, that might, even retail therapy, maybe, that, um, that we use in order to, um, you know, it, it, to, to have that connection that we didn't get when we were little. So once you know those real needs, again, love, safety, comfort, connection, to be seen and heard and understood, uh, once you know what they are, 
as adults, you, you're usually good at meeting them, you know, because you've realized you've grown up and it's been enough adulting and you know what you have to do in order to take care of yourself. And then you get better and better and better as you age. So, so yeah, but if there's trouble here, it would be because again, this is our theme card. So six of wands reversed is, is that not being seen, not not getting that at all, not having um, self-confidence, or maybe being afraid of the wool, the wool, the rug, <laughs> the rug being pulled out from under you. That's possible too. Yeah. And you know, well, if this were a different type of a reading, I would. I mean, if it were a political reading, I'd read it completely differently. But it's not, so I'm not even going to go there. Um, here's a question I have, I, uh, and you know, you, you can drop it in the comment if you want, if you know it. But it could be a question that you just kind of keep with you and um, kind of mull over for some months, even weeks or months. But to heal this. What it, and we're looking for a false belief too. We're, what we're doing here is we're trying to like sniff out a false belief and um, figure it out so that you can turn it around, right? So, who do you think you need to be in order to have love, connection, and approval? And once you've taken that journey with the Three of Wands, taken that journey to figure out what that is, you get that answer then you can turn it all around and just blow it up because there's no more <laughs> there's no more reason for that with the tower i often look at the tower as being i uh, uh, the major arcana that's that evolutionary gateway that helps us to remember who we really are because when by the time this has happened like imagine this is a relationship and you know they're leaving and the whole home is blown up kind of a thing, and it's like major chaos and destruction of relationship or whatever. Uh, by the time that's happened, there's no more mask on. There's no more holding back. There's, there's a breakthrough. There's, uh, you know, your real self has erupted and come through, right? Blown off the mask. Blown off that crown that you've been wearing uh, or giving to someone else. You know, maybe you've been the one that's giving and over, over, you know, caring, overdoing, over whatever, because you thought that's what you needed to do to have love. Or maybe you thought that you had to be really smart. Maybe love, you, maybe you just gave up on having love. So instead you went for being really smart or making a lot of money. And then that blows up, Right. And your, but your real self, every time things blow up, your real self can come through and reconstruct it into a whole new reality. So, yeah. I can't think of anything else to say about these cards. Um, other than when you're asking that question about who do you think you need to be in order to have love, connection, and approval then, you know, so you've got the I have to and then blank. You fill that in. And and maybe you're looking for to have pleasure and no deprivation, no, um, no loss of connection. Or you have to do blah, blah, blah in order to be seen and heard and understood to have that connection. Or... Maybe it's I have to, and then you fill in the blank, uh, in order to survive. It could very well be a survival tactic that you uh, picked up when you were really young, and it could have very well also have been what helped to hold the family together. And maybe that's about to be blown up because you're tired of being invisible, right? Or if you've already gone through this, pat yourself on the back. <laughs> If you've already gone through this, pat yourself on the back. If you were the kid that held the family together, pat yourself on the back. Uh, but you don't have to do it anymore, of course. 
But man, to take away, you know, to to let go of that, uh, like imagine this were a, a knight in shining armor, to let go of that armor, that would be, that could be very, very freeing for your the life force in your soul. So I always look at the tower card as being Mars and Uranus, and Uranus regulates the uh, nervous system, and then Mars is like the life force and the lifeblood. And then we can see here, I don't know if you can see very clearly, but the sun in Aries is what rules the three of wands. And then we have Jupiter and Leo for the six of wands. So sun in Aries would be like a brand new day, brand new beginning, starting over, you're putting something out there, it's new. It hasn't come back to you yet and you don't know. And if you're afraid of being seen, then you know, that staying invisible is the, could, could have been a safety mechanism when you were little as to how to survive. But then, of course, we can always turn things around. And um, Jupiter and Leo is like, you know, loving, loving your heart, loving who you are. <laughs> okay, big hugs. See you later. <laughs>